Hello everyone, greetings of the day. Today I am going to show you our uh, Accurex 3 part analyzer which is the CBC 360 new RFID, the cell counter. This is the main unit and now I will tell you about the accessories that comes with this analyzer. So this is the box. With this, you get all the certificates and installation reports and the warranty cards. This here is the reagent tubes. This is the waste tube. There is one power cord. This one is the ground cord. There is one RS232 cable. There is one grease. This is 32 mule probe. There are two printer paper rolls. This is the seal ring. This is the probe cleaner that is used for cleaning the probes. And these are the disposable plastic tubes to collect the samples. Before we start the analyzer, we will first connect this analyzer to the reagents. We have three different reagents, lytic reagent, detergent and diluent and also we will give the power supply to this analyzer. This is the back side of the analyzer. Here you can see different ports. The first two ports is to connect the mouse and the keyboard. There are four USB ports, one LAN connection and port for RS232 cable. Here you can uh, insert the power cord and these are for tyrant, and detergent and also for the waste connectors. So firstly we will remove this white tubes. Here there are uh, different colors given, the blue one for uh, diluent, red for lice, green for detergent and black for waste. And same colors are given on the reagent tube sets. This red one, this is for the lice, you can just connect to the lice. The blue one for the diluent. And the green one for detergent. This black one is for the waste. I'll insert the power cord. And before starting, you need to make sure that the ground is below uh, below two. Before you insert this tube in the reagents, you have to make sure that these tubes are clean. So just before uh, putting this in the reagents, you just need to wipe this end. Just hold it from here, and you can just wipe it down once. The reagent tube sets that is connected to the analyzer. Now we will put one by one in the reagents. This green one is for detergent. So we will put it this in the detergent. The blue one is for diamond. The red one is for the lice and this one is for the waste so we will take a waste container and we will just insert it. Now we will start the analyzer and before starting you have to make sure that all the tubes are in the reagent. This is, this is the start screen of the analyzer. Now the analyzer has started. It's initializing.
Then you put the user ID and the password which is admin admin. Once this orange light turns into green, uh, you will know that the machine is ready to use. Okay, now this one has turned green. We will insert this printer board. You just pull this. You just need to insert it and just push it back. Here there are five different buttons for different use. The first one is for print. So after the results, you can just click on here and it will automatically print the results. This is flush. The chambers uh, will be flushed if you click on this button. Here with this mode, uh, button, you can select the mode that you want. This is the priming where, where the reagents will be filled inside if you click on this and the drain button will drain the sample cups. Now we will just uh, we'll scan this RFID cards. This RFID cards come with this reagents. So we will just do that. So we will click on the here as you can see here. It shows expired diluent. So we will click on setup. License. And here there is diluent, lyes and detergent. So first for diluent, we'll scan the card. We'll just keep it on top of the analyzer and we'll click on replace and activate. And we'll put the lot number and then we'll click on OK. So we'll have to wait until this turns green. Now we'll do the same for detergent and lice. So this is the lice card. Keep it here and just keep it this. Activate. And then we'll add the lot number and then press OK. And we'll follow the same process for the detergent. So here, this is the setup where you can uh, set as per your accordance. The first one is the maintenance. If you change the lies, so after changing the caps, or after changing the reagent, you will click on change lies and it will prime the reagent. It will prime the lies. And for diluent, you can click here. And for detergent, you can click here. And if you can't click from here, you can prime from here. This is the prepare shipping. Uh, if the machine will be uh, switched off for a lo uh, long period of time, so you can just prepare shipping and it will remove all the reagents and water from this analyzer. This is zap aperture, flush aperture, rinsing chamber, clean chamber and draining chamber. All this is used for cleaning the chambers. This is the time from where you can set the time. This is parameters from where you can uh, change the unit of WBC, platelet, RBC, hemoglobin and etc. This is the print option. This is transmit by which you can transmit your data to the uh, PC. This is maintenance setup. Auto blank, auto clean, diluent reminders, auto sleep, soak and exit and auto soak. From here, you can see the version of the software that we use for this analyzer. This is for uh, adding the user names. And this uh, particular slot is used for, uh, this is only used with for the service engineers and you can't uh, use it. Not everyone can use it. This is only for the service engineers.
and from here we did the license this is the logout and this is the shutdown now here there are five different slots the first one is the test where you will perform the test second one is the data where all the tests are saved third one is the qc where you perform daily qc fourth one is the calibration where you can do all the calibrations and the last one is the setup that we just saw so now we will test the sample but before that we will see the different modes the first one here you can see this is the whole blood the second one is the peripheral blood mode and the last one is the pre diluent mode so we will run the sample on the whole blood mode we will take the sample and we will just insert it in the probe and the probe should touch the bottom of the tube and then we'll press this run button and the probe will automatically go up and then you have to remove this here you can see the counting has started and then again we'll have to wait until this orange turns into green the result can be seen in form of histograms and the, it, this is for wbc this is for rbc and this is for platelets and then we'll print the result by clicking on print if you want the print that should come automatically then you can change from the setup